Hello and welcome to this demo of DDBoost for Enterprise Applications. This demo will focus on DDBoost for Microsoft SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio to back up directly to Data Domain. For our demo, we are using Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 running on a Windows 2008 R2 64 bit server. We're using Ethernet to connect to a Data Domain system shown here on the right. Here's our actual demo environment. On the left is my SQL Server, and on the right is my Data Domain System. The Data Domain System is licensed with DDBoost in addition to DDBoost for Enterprise Applications, and we've already created a DDBoost User and Storage Unit. On the SQL Server, here's the DDBoost 64-bit plugin MSI package that must be installed. Installation of the plugin is easy, just four simple clicks using the default options and takes only a minute or two. Now if we open Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, you'll note that we have a test DB. Also note the EMC Data Domain Boost for Microsoft Applications button, which appears after the plugin has been installed. When we click on this button, the EMC Data Domain Boost for Microsoft Application plugin opens. You'll note there is a Backup and a Restore tab. Under the Backup General tab, we first select the SQL Server instance, then we choose the database that we want to back up. For our demo, we're going to do a backup of TestDB. Then we choose the backup type. For our demo, we're going to do a full backup. You give the backup a backup name, a description, and we set a retention. We're going to set a retention of five days for our backup. Then we choose the data domain system that we want to back up to. If you had more than one data domain system defined, then there'd be multiple options down here, or you can click the Add button to add a new data domain system. Under the Backup Options tab, you have the option to perform a checksum. You could create a striped backup, or you can back up the data domain over Fiber Channel if that's what you want to do. We go back to the General tab and again click on the data domain system we want to back up to. Then there's a button up here called Script. If you click on the Script button, it creates a script of this backup as we've defined it so far. We can copy and paste this into a scheduling program so you can run your backup schedule through a scheduling program. If we go back to the General tab and again select the data domain system we want to do our backup to and click OK, then the backup should begin. All right, our backup is completed, and if you'll note on the data domain system on the right, you see the activity related to the backup that we just did. All right, now let's look at the Restore tab. Under the Restore General tab, the first thing we're going to do is select the data domain system that we're going to do a recovery from. Then we choose the SQL Server instance that we're going to use, the database that we're going to re restore. We're going to restore our test database. Choose the destination SQL Server instance. We'll leave that the same. But we're going to give our t restore test database 2 as a name. Then you select the backup that you want to do a restore from. You can actually go to older backups if you want to, or if you were looking at older backups, you could go to newer backups using this. You also have the option of doing a restore to a point in time. But there's a restore options tab where you can select overwrite the existing database, Restore with recovery, restore with no recovery, restore with standby. We're going to do a restore with recovery. And if we go back to the general tab again, you could click on the script button and you could capture the script for doing this restore. But for the purposes of our demo, we're going to go ahead and uh, select this backup to do our restore from. We're going to restore it as test DB2. And we're going to click OK to begin the restore. All right, you'll see that our restore is completed. And again, on the right-hand side, you see the activity in the data domain system associated with this restore. Now, if we go back to our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and we do a refresh and we look under databases, we'll note that there's now a test DB2 here. So that proves that our restore completed successfully. If we switch over to the data domain network view on the data domain system manager console, we will see the overall deduplication and compression storage savings. Having ingested 30 gigabytes of data and saving about 2 gigabytes of data, this demo system is currently getting 
about 15.6x to 1 deduplication ratio for an overall storage savings at this point of 93.6%. We typically see anywhere from 10 to 30x deduplication ratios with typical retention and typical data. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. DDBoost or Microsoft SQL provides SQL DBAs with many benefits. DBAs will have full control over database backups and restores. It integrates with SQL Management Studio. It has an easy to use and flexible interface with both GUI and script options. The SQL DBAs will have visibility of the backup catalog stored on data domain. Deduplication storage reduction will typically be in the range of 10 to 30x. They will realize fast SQL database backups up to 31 terabytes per hour. They can leverage data domains M3 replication to a second data domain system for disaster recovery, and they can leverage data domains data and vulnerability architecture data protection. For more information on DD Boost for enterprise applications, please visit emc.com slash data domain or contact your EMC or partner sales representative. Thank you.